<laughs> but our next <laughs> guest, Trenton, the Myrtle remarked about, he sees nothing but a positive about a, except a positive future for weed because yes. he's the dude that's setting up the <coughs> cannabis academy. Mm. So that's not like somebody's mindset that all oh, doom and gloom and to hell with all this because like growing weeds a long term project. It's yeah. So it's really fortuitous that he is on the show. He's got to come in now because he's got to go away because he's literally teaching. He's been doing online courses and TV and stuff for a long, long time, and now it's slipping into. If you know the craft, craft cannabis sessions in Cape Town? Yes. yes. Trenton? Yes. Right. Oh, Trenton so. is Trenton right. on the line. Let's see how he is on Zoom. Open. No. I am here. Yeah, oh, no, Hi. there you are. Man. And Trenton... Hopefully tr nice and clear. Oh, no, they, that's much better. Yeah, there good was evening, a good evening, good evening. Hello, bro. Oh, you, now you, we can see you. you Not in here. Good evening. So, um, I don't know whether you've met everybody in person, Trenton. Yeah. A bit seen, shorter, huh? Yeah, a bit shorter than the WhatsApp picture. That was scary when I opened that the other day. No, I haven't. <coughs> so Myrtle mentioned Trenton uh, when she was doing the update. Yeah. And Trenton's been in the media for ages, and he's been helping us get the message out that cannabis can help South Africa. You know the cannabis craft sessions? Yeah, yes. We're doing those breakfast things down in mm. town. Well, he's part of that, and he's been in broadcasting and media for ages. Okay. And when you listen to Tito Mbawaini's speech about the budget yesterday. It's pretty fucking horrific, you know, how, how in debt. Every rand you pay in tax, they take 26%, 26 cents to pay the debt of the fucking state. Anyway, yeah. so it looks doom and gloom, but the, we know this guy, Trenton, who actually thinks there's a future for everything. He's a really positive guy, and he started a cannabis academy. And it's up and running, and there's a prospectus and a PDF on the website, and welcome to the show, Trenton. You guys rock, eh? Thank you Good for evening. being. Thank you for thank being so positive me. in such a weird world. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so tell us a little bit about this uh, academy, Trenton. How's it going to kick off, and can we all join? You certainly can all join. Um, we kicked off about uh, four weeks ago, and uh, it's been a really great start. I mean, anything anybody who knows who's worked in education. Will understand that it's uh, it's 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 hard work. There's a lot of administration. There's a lot of moving parts, but um, <coughs> it's definitely something we feel is needed in South Africa. If our industry is really going to, you know, blossom and realize its potential globally, which I think we all believe it does have, but you know, with any industry, you need to have trained personnel and people who know what they're doing. So you know, we're, we're you know we're the first people to do this on the African continent industry so everything is growing so there's there are, there are teething issues as there are with any new industry but there are certainly some people in this country who really really know what they're doing and you know, once they once you turn that teacher uh, side of them on it's it's beautiful to watch how they blossom it's really interesting man and, and you've only got the one you've got the one building at the moment yeah you've got it's like one one specific place have you are you are you planning some sort of network yeah, I mean, we don't, we haven't, we haven't opened a physical campus yet. You know, uh, we, we, we had our eye on a few spaces, but we, we held that all back because of uh, the situation. So literally it, it is online. You know, and the advantage to it being online is obviously, you know, our, our class, which I'm hosting uh, today, we have, uh, we have students from Pretoria, from Langebaan, from, from Joburg, like all over the country coming onto the class. Uh, from all kinds of different backgrounds as well, which is really exciting because it's really dynamic. I mean, anybody on the continent can join these classes. And what's really important and why we started the craft cannabis sessions originally is, you know, knowledge needs to be shared. And I really believe that for this industry to truly realize its full potential, we need to work together. You know, there's often a mentality we have in South Africa where everybody grabs their piece and everybody's desperate to get what they need. And, but ultimately, you know, the, 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 the legacy we have with growing cannabis, exporting it, you know, um, obviously illegally, but on large scale, um, you know, the, 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 the potential here for, for export and for job creation and for economic uh, uh, development is unbelievable. But yeah. um, I really, any, you know, anybody in the cannabis industry, I just really would encourage people to work together you know, the pie is big enough and we can all learn from each other. There are, there are no stupid questions in this industry at, at this point. You know, a year ago, there were no experts in the cannabis industry in this country. Maybe, maybe you guys, but there were very few people who, who you could call experts. And, and that's starting to change and starting to happen very much the same as it did in the States and Europe. Mm. So it's an exciting time. But my, my, our, our key message is two things. Firstly, encouraging people to communicate and to work together and to share knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
Secondly, something which I know is very close to your heart, making sure that the man on the street doesn't get marginalized when the license has come out. The farmers in the Eastern Cape somehow can benefit from this. And, and that is a complex web. But um, you know, I have huge respect for you guys pushing that because that's an agenda that we really, really buy into and believe in. We got such a beautiful uh, carcinomics uh, mm -hmm. thread the other day on Instagram just from a complete stranger about how he's putting food on the table for his family with growing some weed in the backyard. And he just, from his heart, he said, why can't I do that? What's what's wrong with that? Everybody, there's a win-win yeah. for everybody. There's yeah. a person who wants it. I can grow it. The family gets is, is like, what can we do? And it was absolute basic carcinomic stuff. Absolutely. So is it? Um, there's uh, Trenton. There's obviously some sort of fee for all of this. Is it like? Can you can you buy into it as much as you want, or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, it's it's affordable. You know, you can uh, a cannabis one hundred and one course will cost you 1,200 Rand, you know, which is we've kept the prices low intentionally because, you know, the industry is new and we want people to have access. So ultimately, the more people that, that we help educate, uh, the bigger the industry will grow, the more people want to learn. And then you can, there's different levels. We have a, a, a med pro course, which is specifically designed for uh, doctors, pharmacists, people who are already in the medical industry. And we've, we've had a, a, a really beautiful partnership with uh, this company in America called Medical uh, Marijuana 4 on one And they, they're the, the top online um, medical on, uh, cannabis online um, platform for education in the medical space. So we've taken their courses. Uh, we've changed some of the content to make sure it's localized. You know, the Americans have been at it for a long time. And we, especially in the medical space, the, the information is it's vital that it's up to date and relevant and current. And there's a lot of research going on there. So we marry that uh, international knowledge and then bring local knowledge into it. So there are different levels that you can enter in. You know, you can you can basically, and we've got more courses coming online literally by the week at the moment. So the, there's no sort of hands-on weed 101 at the moment. Is that, is, uh, this is all done virtually, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, what's this space? We are we are developing other programs. I mean, I you know I. I ran uh, campuses with over 450 students. You know, I love having people on site. I'm a, I'm a networker. We, you know, when we had to pull the last craft cannabis sessions, we, you know, the last one we did was in City Hall, which you guys crossed to. We had over 500 people there. And that is just priceless, you know, pulling people together and unifying people. It's a beautiful experience. Uh, but at the moment, you know, with, with the situation, we just have to adapt. But there will come a point where we will absolutely have a physical space because you know, learning to grow from watching a video is one thing. Learning to grow hands-on in a space where you can share tips and tricks and look at the plant and feel it and touch it, that, that is priceless. So I think the combination of the two is definitely the future. I think it's a great idea, Trenton. Well done for having the energy for doing it. You have the honor of being the very last person to ever interview the Dhaka couple. You didn't. We none of us knew that at the time, but uh, we were all no. locked down in Barcelona. We we're all headed to <laughs> Spanabis, and it got cancelled that day. So we regrouped and went to a social club and put together some interviews for Canamo magazine. There's a very cool little clip that he filmed in the last. Okay. Um, what was that place called? The T-shirt place. Uh, Doctor Resin. Doctor Resin. Yeah. So that, that was, was the great, interview great in there. Club. And then you got out of. Uh, Barcelona about a day or two before us and we thought god he's damn lucky what if we get stuck you hightailed it out of Barcelona bro. that's yeah. the last time I saw you I, I changed my flights and uh, I was very lucky I literally went I'm sure you had the same experience when you flew to Amsterdam I went to the airport and I was like the only person anyway I moved my flight a day early but it was a very surreal experience yeah, yeah I mean, we were walking around the streets and literally every day it felt like the city was shutting down People were disappearing. It was very, very surreal. So by the time I came back in, I'm sure you felt the same as I felt like I was psychologically prepared for it to some degree, um, which, which in retrospect, I'm totally, I don't think I was because it's a, it's a very different uh, environment we're in and it's been a very crazy experience. But yeah, that was the last time we saw you was uh, escaping <laughs> escaping Barcelona. And if you, if you think about the size of the apartment we were in, that's kind of regular size. And I've been on a six-acre plot for the last mm. three months, <clears throat> swinging a cat, you know. Imagine being in the Ravel <laughs> down there on the fourth floor oh in, like, a, a studio yeah. bed sit. It's like... Brrr. So, yeah, I'm glad yeah. we all got out of there. Yeah. Trenton, I yeah, think I we, better, we, we better let you go because you, you're teaching tonight, yeah? Yeah, we've got a class in ten minutes. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're, uh, we're going to put the links up onto this short clip. We'll get it out onto our channel. You're very good at sharing it. You know the media upside down and back to front. 
Thank you so much for sharing all your information, and I hope this little interview segment gets you loads and loads of traffic. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Go Thank well. you so much. Doing. Keep up the good work. Keep the fire. All power. And, and thanks for your patience with our 4G blah blah. Okay? Technical issues. At least it's not 5G. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. no, we need. no, you have the YouTube bots in the helicopter. We need the <laughs>